Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for March. So this is for the month of March, and this is going to be for Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. Now keep in mind, this is definitely for the month of March, okay? But the timing is fluid, so, you know, I can say it's for March until I'm blue in the, blue in the face. It, the timing is in the universe's hands, but I'm intending this to be for March. So what do we have for Virgo for March? If you're watching this in February, which is it, which it is being recorded in February, I urge you to watch it again in March. This is a preview of what's to come. So what do we have for March? What do we have for March for Virgo? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Whale, great worry over nothing. Grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. Tent, temporary situation. So you must be in a temporary situation and you're worried about it. So there's something that you're worried about that you're probably, it says over nothing. So maybe you shouldn't be worried. There's something in the balance that you need to take care of. Um, but with this, you're worrying over nothing, it looks like you, you're going to take care of it. You're obviously in a temporary situation that isn't going to last, you know, soon enough, it, it's going to be over with, you know, and you can go back to your comfortable living. So whatever is happening, it's very, very temporary. Um, you don't have to worry about it. Um, and I think that you're going to take care of it very, very well. Okay. So let's get one of these. And it's interesting where I put the cards. So maybe you're worrying right now in February, you know, and in March, you know, you're going to be handling something. Maybe it's time to uh, pack this up or whatever it is. But it's interesting that I put the worry over here. I think the worry, maybe you're worrying right now whenever you're watching this. What do we have for Virgo? You're worried over nothing. Sacrifice. Now this is this is the uh, hanged man card. You notice the rainbow. The rainbow stuck out to me. The rainbow is the storm is over. So this has got to be now or whenever you're watching it um, or previously because a rainbow a rainbow comes out after the rain. You know, after there's been stormy weather, it's when, you know, the sun starts to shine again. So I do believe the sun is really going to be shining for you in March. Um, you're probably going to be thinking about everything that has happened. I feel like your prayers are being, have been answered or they're going to be answered. Whenever I see the praying hands, there's been some sort of prayers. I do feel like you've been uh, sacrificing yourself or you have sacri sacrificed yourself for somebody. I, and you know what comes at the end of a rainbow is a pot of gold, a reward. So I, there could be some reward that is coming for you for the sacrifice that you have made. I see a lot of purity here with the white. So there's a lot of purity. I feel like you're going to be receiving some sort of reward this month. Um, this is a new perspective that is being gained after there's been a lot of, there's been a, maybe a time of isolation or there's been some stormy weather. I just noticed the flowers here. Flowers are blossoms. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. They, they represent beauty to me and growth. So you're definitely going to be, um, I feel like you're going to be glowing during this time. I feel like you're, there's a blessing the light is going to be shining down on you. I feel like you're going to get some sort of blessing in, in March. Um, you've been waiting for something. Whatever it's something you've been waiting for is, is coming. Okay, it's the end of a, end of a storm. Okay, it, it, it's over. It's over, whatever it was. So what do we have? What do we have for Virgo? Ooh. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy, Virgo. Release your ex. So it looks like maybe you have a stressful situation here, you know, and you have, it's time. It's time for you to clear your energy. 
Um, you have a blessing that is coming. You do have a blessing that is coming. But you do need to focus on releasing something. And maybe that's something that you've been worried about. I don't know. I just looked at the bottom and that, that's a contradiction to the other card. But we do have a reconciliation here as well. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So there is, there is someone from your past that is returning to your life. Now, this could be anybody. It could be anybody. Now, this says release your ex. I mean, we all have several exes, right? That's just, that's a, that's a fact. Anyhow, so there is going to be a reconciliation with somebody from your past. Now, a reconciliation can be the family member, it can be with a child, it can be with a friend, it can be the lover. So there's going to be some sort of reconciliation in March. Um, what do we have for Virgo? Now, I just went to cut the deck to shuffle. I got the Ten of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So Ten of Cups is happiness happy family, a relationship, you know, this is happily ever after, uh, emotional fulfillment, a blessing. So yeah, you're going to be getting some sort of blessing. Um, happy, happy times in March. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a king of pentacles. This is somebody that is stable. This could be a business owner. This is somebody that is a hard worker that has a lot to offer. Somebody that is loyal. This could be your energy. This is somebody that has a lot to offer. This is somebody with a Midas touch that is very disciplined and hardworking. So there is, there is somebody, I believe, if you are a female watching this, you have somebody, or a male, you have somebody that is very stable, loyal, faithful, uh, disciplined, and hardworking that has a lot to offer you, okay? That, that probably is, is looking for a relationship. If you are already in a relationship now and, things, and there's been some sort of struggle because the hangman is a struggle, things could be getting better. Or this could be this could be somebody from the past, like I said, that is that is uh, you know has something for you. They have because the King of Pentacles has something solid to offer you. Um, could be another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Pisces with that Hangman card. Um, Seven of Pentacles reversed. Six of Wands reversed. Three of Swords. Somebody has really hurt another person. They've stabbed them. There's a lot of heartache. There's grieving. Um, this is painful. So there's some sort of pain here. This is a dead end. It is a dead end. This is no success, no progress being made. And that's, I feel like that's where we've been. It's lack of confidence. This is a loss of some sort with the Six of Wands reversed. So I feel like we have somebody that has been hurt. They didn't win. They didn't, they didn't, something didn't end successfully. They invested in something. You know, they tried to make something grow that wasn't. Uh, maybe it was an ex. I'm not sure. I feel like there is maybe you have already released an ex. I don't know. There's somebody that tried to make something grow that in a place where there was no fertil fertility or there was no light or there, I don't know, there was too much pain. I don't know. Somebody was really, really suffering trying to make something grow and it didn't, it didn't work out. Two of wands reversed. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed. Sun. Yeah, but you you got somebody here that does you know when you get all reversals, it means that somebody there's an absence of something. There's an absence of success. I think that there's an absence of success with one of your exes that didn't put an effort, that didn't give you what you deserve. And I feel like there's there's some sort of uh, pain over the over this ex. I do believe that whoever you're dealing with, it didn't work out for a reason. I see something not working out. There's a lack of reciprocation. There was a one-sidedness. There was darkness. Somebody was in a dark place. They were in a dark period. They weren't seeing clearly. They were not awakened or something like that. But now they may have become enlightened. I feel like we have somebody here that has become enlightened in some way. Um, and it feels like uh, they may have hurt you in the past, they may have stabbed you in the back in the past, or they may have just broken your heart in the past. 
I definitely, because of that reconciliation card, there's somebody from the past here that invested in something that didn't work out. And I feel like now they're not happy. They're sad. They may have some sort of regrets. They've been stuck in a place where there's no growth. And, you know, hmm, now they're not, they didn't give you what you deserved by the looks of things. Page of Pentacles. So this is making an offer. There could be an apology coming in. With Page of Pentacles is an apology. It is an apology. Or and, I don't, and you know it could be from anybody. Okay, it could be from anybody. It could also be somebody new. There's a new prospect here. There's a new opportunity. There's a new. And with the Two of Wands reverse, this is making a decision. Somebody was at a crossroads. There's the Two of Wands reverse. But now it feels like they've made a decision, and they've made a decision because. Whoever they were investing with, probably maybe it may, it may have burned them. You know, they may have burned them or they, you know, uh, hurt them, you know, betrayed them. And I feel like now, you know, they want they, they want to start fresh because the, the Page of Pentacles is starting a new project or starting on a new path, starting from scratch. This is somebody that is willing to focus. This is somebody who is finding their moral backbone to do the right thing after there's been some pain. Okay, some pain has, you know, made somebody decide to go down a new path and put in effort, whereas they did not put in effort before. And I feel like it's an X. And like I said, we've had many X's. Most people have. Okay, so it could be anybody. I do, I do feel like there's commitment here, Four of Wands. There's, there could be a new commitment. There could be a get together. There could be a celebration. If you know, this is a this is a get together. This is celebrating um, a proposal. Even somebody may be getting a proposal. Um, there could be a commitment that is even stepping it up to another level. But what I see is that we have somebody here that is not happy. They're not happy. They may have abused your generosity or they may have abused their power. You know, they didn't put in effort, but now they're willing to focus. They're finding their backbone to do so. You could be dealing with an earth sign, another earth sign. Like I said, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, we definitely have somebody here that is uh, definitely not happy. They're not happy. Maybe they're not happy because you have become enlightened because you know, um, you've stopped investing, you know, you've stopped making progress towards them, you know, maybe, maybe it's because there's, a, there's an end of investment here. And sometimes that's what causes the awakening. I mean, the, the hangman is an awakening. So there's some sort of spiritual blessing or there's a blessing that is coming in. You've, you've been waiting for this. You have been waiting for this. Um, Oh my goodness gracious. I want there I feel like there's a reconciliation with one of your exes. And I know a lot of people say, I don't want I don't want my ex. I don't want my ex. You know, how many exes? I think about how many exes you've had. You know. This could be literally releasing your ex and a new prospect coming in. It could be somebody brand new. Okay, this is this could be a new suitor. It absolutely could be. After being hurt and not getting what you deserve and being unhappy and feeling sad and alone and thinking, you know, nobody's ever going to put in effort and things are never going to work out, there's definitely a new opportunity here. No doubt about it. And you may have to make a spur of the moment decision. Nine of Wands reversed. Now this is somebody that is uh, maybe taking ownership for their actions. <laughs> Interesting. This is somebody that was uh, very guarded. They may have been angry. They may have had some hard feelings. Knight of Pentacles reversed. So there's, there's jealousy, there's uh, possessiveness, somebody didn't put in effort or they're not putting in effort. Now the Knight of Pentacles reversed is a delay, it's a stop, it's, it's uh, unfaithfulness. Somebody may have been unfaithful. Knight of Pentacles reversed. If 
feels like somebody has taken something from you, you know. You may be dealing with somebody who doesn't give, who doesn't give what you deserve. They didn't give you what you deserve or something like that. That's what it is. We have somebody here that is unstable. They don't follow through. They may be selfish. They may be greedy. This is definitely an ex. It is. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse symbolizes an ex. So you have an ex here that is angry and sad and upset. And I feel like they want to start over or something like that. I hate to mention the ex. I do. Um, mm, Knight of Pentacles reverse. This is, this is like jealousy there's some maybe it's you maybe there's jealousy issues here that'll cause problems <laughs> it definitely will you know the knight of pentacles that's jealousy possessiveness control ah fool card fresh start so yeah this is starting with a clean slate so i do believe that you have a new beginning here you have a new beginning you you know You, you're going to have to face your fears. This is, it's time. I think that you there could be some... Uh, you may need to take a risk. You may need to take a risk. I do feel like you have... A, you're going to have to make a decision. I feel like you're going to have to make an impulsive decision. I feel like you're going to be... I feel like we had that four of wands, wherever it is. It was on the bottom of the deck a minute ago. You're, I think that you're going to receive some sort of proposal or a message or something from somebody that may want a commitment, and, and you may be fearful. You may be fearful of it because of the previous pain that you have endured. Um... Now that Knight of Pentacles is like no, it feels like it's a it's no, you know, putting a guard, putting a barrier up. I feel like you might have a barrier up. You may not want to put in effort because of fear. And that's exactly what it is. I do see that. I think that you know you're you you're fearful. You're probably fearful of going down this path. It is fear. So anyhow, um, you're going to be faced with a challenge this month. You are. I know that you are. I can see that you are. Um, there's some sort of instability or insecurity here. I feel like you're, you're, there's a rejection. I feel This is a rejection, a one-sidedness. I feel like there is somebody that either you have rejected or they have rejected you that is finding their backbone to do the right thing. You know, after there's been a lot of heartache, somebody wants a fresh start. So there is an opportunity for a new beginning here. This is exciting. When you get the Fool card, this is, the, this is an exciting opportunity to start a new journey and leave the past behind. And whether it's with this ex or with somebody brand new, this is a chance for a fresh new start. So, you know, I, there could be somebody that is headed right in your direction as well. Because it looks like this person is running in a new direction. You know, they're running away from something and, and running right towards you. Or you may be running away from something. I don't know. Uh, running towards safety as well. You may be trying to protect yourself. Um, this is making a getaway as well. Um, anyhow. You have a new beginning here, a new opportunity, a new doorway is about to open or a new opportunity is coming your way, okay? And it could lead with the Page of Pentacles to long-term stability. This can grow. This is something you have manifested. You have manifested something solid. But I feel like you're going to have your guard up. I feel like you're, you may be like, nope, nope. You may want to go really, 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 really slow because there's distrust. There's mistrust here. You probably won't trust this person. Um, but I feel like this, whoever you're dealing with has become enlightened. They've, uh, they have, they've become enlightened. And they probably, um, I don't know, I feel like they see your value because of that page of pentacles. That's the coin of value, you know, and they didn't invest before. And whoever they invested with obviously hurt them. That'll wake somebody up in a hurry. So somebody is, is has become awoken by the looks of things. Um, and I feel like you've already released this person. I feel like you've already released this person. And, you know, Nine of Wands can be another... I do feel like somebody wants another chance with you. So I don't I don't know how you're going to handle this situation. But I, I see that, you know, uh, 
this is take a risk. The fool card is take a risk. Replace that fear with faith. You know, this is an exciting opportunity to start with a clean slate. So whether this is somebody new or it's your ex, it could be either one, you are going to be getting an offer that is solid. It is real. But I feel like you're going to be like, ah, no, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. But you're being called to take, take a chance. You're definitely with that fool card. That is a new beginning that you have manifested. You're worried over nothing. Look at that. I just looked at the card. You're worried that, that you can't trust this person, but I feel like it's just your fear because of the, the heartache that you've experienced in the past. Anyhow, you're going to be receiving. You have a new prospect here, whether it's your ex or it's somebody new. You definitely do. And this person is going to be making an offer towards you. And you're going to have to make a spur-of-the-moment decision because of this two of wands reversed. Ooh, chariot. Now, chariot is movement. It is uh, taking a journey. It's taking a ride. It's mastering emotions. Uh, somebody may want to take you somewhere. They may want to... There could be some travel involved. There could be some travel. There's things... Somebody could be at a distance. They could be traveling. Um... This is like, you want to go for a ride? Somebody may ask you if you want to go for a ride. Um, this is a chauffeur. We have a chauffeur here that is arriving. This is somebody that's going to take you somewhere. They want to take you somewhere. They want to go for a ride with you. <laughs> Anyhow, Virgo, I do believe that uh, your chariot awaits. This is your chariot awaits. Somebody is, is, is coming. This is somebody that is taking charge. They're going to take charge. They're gonna, you're going to be pursued by somebody. Now, this is a, I don't know, it's a vehicle. Something to do with a vehicle. Traveling, going somewhere. There's some sort of travel involved. This person could be at a distance Hmm. There's going to be an arrival. Could be dealing with a cancer. Somebody could be uh, driving. Yeah, I just want to say driving, going for a ride. Anyway, somebody's going to be going for a ride with somebody. There's going to be an offer, you know. You have a new beginning here. Give it a chance. You need to let your guard down. Don't let your fears hold you back from happiness. Whoever this person is, the past person or the past, who, whatever this pain is, that's in the past. One more card. Oh, four of Wands reversed. Somebody's definitely not happy. They're not happy. And they're, and they're angry and they're upset and they're sad. They're sad. Somebody is sad. They are sad over a loss of a commitment. There could even be fear of commitment. Fear of marriage, something like that. I do think we have somebody that it, there could be a proposal or so, I think I already said that somebody's relationship status is about to change and I think it's in a positive way even with that four of wands reversed I feel like we have a commitment that is coming but I feel like it's very unexpected I think it's unexpected 
You may have somebody here that was unstable. You know, they weren't giving you what you deserve. You're about to get something solid. Trust me, you are. Whatever this is, I feel like it could lead to marriage, but I feel like your fear is big. Or the other person's fear is big. There could something to do with marriage here. There is something to do with marriage. Oh, ten of cups on the bottom again. So that's interesting. I just looked. So yeah, this is this could lead to happily ever after. This is emotional fulfillment, happiness, a comfortable home, marriage. Look at that. That's a wedding dress. So there is some. I feel like you're going to be getting an offer from somebody that could lead to marriage. Good luck. If you're already with this person, your relationship is just going to get stronger. If there's been if there's been trouble with an ex, I feel like that ex is going to be released. Good luck.